Hi guys, it's Brooklyn and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a New Year's 2021-2022 vlog. So basically New Year's Day 2021 and New Year's Day 2022. I was going to do a whole weekend one but I just thought no, just do two days and that'll do me, do me for my New Year's vlog. So yeah, I've just got ready. It's the afternoon, I think it's like one, nearly two o'clock. But I'm just ready, I'm about to go for a walk with Connor and Horton. Horton's downstairs of Connor and Connor's waiting patiently for me to get my arse downstairs to go for a walk. So pretty much that's what I'm going to be doing. Nip into the cons water for a bit and then um I'll do some cleaning. Get a shower, scrub like the old tan off, I hardly have any on but I'll just do a wee exfoliation. Do my tan, obviously when I'm in the shower I'll be washing my hair and stuff like that. And do my tan, dry my hair, do my makeup. Maybe do some curls in my hair and then put a nicer outfit on. This is like more casual but still dressy. But I want to wear something a bit more blingy for New Year's Eve. Even though I'm going to the church but I'm not going to be wearing like something revealing or anything. Just something modest but something like blingy. I have like a nice big black top with some glitter down the sleeves. But I think they have me wearing like black tops. It kind of the hair, the black hair and the black top does blend in. But... That's why I like to kind of look a bit more colourful with, I think, the black top. Because the tan, maybe like a nice red check trousers, I don't know. I'll see if they fit, <laughs> fit well me after Christmas. But they have a nice pair of um, black, black and like um, red check trousers. I got at H&M a couple of months ago. But I'll see how they fit. But I think I'll just wear my black and white striped ones to go with the black top so I'm not all black. <laughs> But I think I'll be fine if I cut my hair because I will put some curls for it with my GHDs. But yeah, I think I'll do that. I'm not sure what kind of makeup to go for. But I want to go glam with makeup, like nice kind of glitter eyes and stuff like that. I did get some nice makeup for Christmas and I bought some of the vouchers I got. So I might do some of that makeup. I think I will anyway. So yeah, I'm going to hurry up now, go for a walk and yeah. Hi, so it's nearly half free. We're just back from our walk, so we are all not long back. And Horton's a mucking right chasing his tail. What are you doing? Are you hyper boy? Are you hyper boy? Excuse me, the little house. I'm just about to clean after half something date. Well, I've got up. I think it was like half ten, but because we were about this morning, we're only getting lunch now, but hey ho. But yeah, he's just mucking right chasing his tail. I'm going to be cleaning after um, getting lunch, kind of making this bacon and toast, which is going to be nice. And um, yeah. Need to do the living room, the kitchen, they quite done the, like the surfaces and all. And Connor, what? do you think we should put that wee Christmas tablecloth away and stuff? Or leave it? What? Do you think we should put the Christmas tablecloth away or leave it? Uh, we'll have, after we we'll have our lunch, we'll put it away. I'll do that, sure. Yeah, it's okay, I'll do that. Then just get it nice and tidy looking. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this new year. This, like, yeah, this year, 2021 hasn't been a bad year. It's been a real coach, but it hasn't been a bad year. There's been really good parts of it. Like, me and Connor got married, we got Horton and stuff. And, yeah, but I want to have more of a settled 2022 and achieve the goals. Um, definitely looking forward to, like, getting back into health eating and losing a stone on weight. Because, yeah, I just want to feel better about myself. And most importantly, get closer to God and be a better Christian. And I'll get that. And I'll achieve that. Horton just I'm distracted because Horton's out and hyper again. What are you doing, wee crazy boy? What are you doing? What are you doing? So yeah, I'm gonna make sure that uh, 2022 is like a more settled, better year. I'm looking forward to it. And yeah, I'm gonna be sad. Take these decorations on tomorrow. It's gonna be so sad. I love my tree. Love my tree. Love my lights and everything. And but sure. This whole year's fluent and I betcha, because every year flies in quick when you get older, that Christmas 2022 will just go in like that. It will. It'll just go in like that. And yeah, it's had a really good Christmas and I'm hoping like, the New Year's Eve and New Year's Day is going to be good as well. But yeah, it's going to be a lovely church service as well. We're going to go for a Chinese before. If I can say this before, I don't know if I did. But excuse me if I repeat myself, I need to stop doing that and just look to see what I've said before before it's our new clip but hey ho it's me I'm in our head so yeah I'll check in with you once 
I'm about to clean. So I've just got the clean done. It's a quarter past five. I'm gonna to need to get into the shower quick and wash my hair, do my tan and all because we're gonna go out at like seven to get dinner, so I'm gonna to have to hurry up here. <laughs> but yeah. So at least everything's on the cleaning and all. Just on a quick like brown clean after I had something to eat. Well did like just um sort some videos before in between, but um yeah, it's pretty much all sorted now, so I'll see you when I'm all ready. You know the so we're um at the store hotel, we've had a change of plan. We're gonna go to Beijing, but then it was closed, so it's at the store hotel. There's Connor and then there's Chris. We just had our drinks and we're just waiting for our food. We're going to get two courses of main and um, a dessert, so I can't wait. I'm getting a wee um, check pain and we'll get a curry and I'm just ready for it. Like. So, yeah.
so we're back from the church and we're just lifted we hoardy bear. There he is. We good for Granny and Granda? Granny and Granda, there's Chris. Playing the Fortin. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Hello baby boy. It's Connor and I'm driving. Next me, hi. Happy New Year 2022. Let's hope it's a good one. But yeah, we're going back to watch Copper High. Happy New Year. Woo! Happy New Year, Horton. Happy New Year, Horton. Happy New Year, baby. Happy New Year, buddy. Buddy, buddy. Oh, no, Happy New Year, son. Horton, your wee eyes, baby boy. But yeah, we're just heading back. Happy New Year. Hi, I hope so. When we got in, we watched Cobra Kai, two episodes of the fourth season. And Connor's up in bed. He just went up to bed there now. Um, I met in Horton House for a PP and um, yeah, we had a really good time. I think the foundation was great in this lighting, but it's only because it's an olive tone. But I want to wish you all the best and the blessed, the best, blessed, and joyful, peaceful 2022. And I hope this year goes really well for you. But oh, excuse me, I've got hiccups. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just praying to God that this year's gonna be a good year and as long as you remain positive and Things will work out, look to God. Things will work out. And yeah, the church, service was, the church service was lovely, the meal was lovely. I got like tons of selfies with my family, and yeah, just had a really, really good day. It actually turned out really well for the better, like so it did, definitely. And I'm so blessed and so happy. And yeah, um, I can't believe it's 2021's over. It's scary. This today's this whole year, like this whole last year, just to do by so quick. Like, I remember, like, when I was doing New Year's Eve vlogs, it was actually at the very tail end of my vlog was 2020, but obviously this year decided to cut it off at Boxing Day. Or was it today yeah, after Boxing Day? I think no, Boxing Day it was because it made more sense to me to do a separate New Year's Eve vlog. I think Connor, not Connor. Horton's up with first dad. So, um, yeah, um, so yeah, I'm gonna end this. <laughs> I don't want to, I'm just like, I don't know what to say, but, um, I'm gonna end the year's eve. I will come back in the morning or afternoon. No, it'll be probably afternoon, like, to be fair, but yeah, close that cupboard because I hate having cupboards sit in a jar. <laughs> That's the end for you. <laughs> but, yeah. I'll see you on New Year's Day, which will be like technically the day, but tomorrow when I wake up. So yeah. If you're wondering what foundation I'm wearing, I'm testing the new one out. I actually got with my voucher and yeah, I still haven't flipped and filmed what I got for Christmas video because I haven't got a chance yet, but tomorrow I have to do it. Like I'm getting up early to do that video. No excuses. I'm telling myself no excuses. So yeah. But it's a Fenty Beauty hydrating. Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 300. It's quite a nice olive tone. It actually reminds me of the Too Faced Bonus Way in the shade Latte. Latte shade's really olive and it kind of goes off a green cast in certain lights, but it actually is a good thing while it isn't orange. But <laughs> it actually looks so pretty in this lighting, but the words it's a foundation and I've got to have them for it too. But then I've heard the shade 290 in the Fenty Pro Filter. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I read it on. Their official website, the 290 is actually more all than this. And I'm like, whoa. Because I, like, I swatched it when I was in boots. I swatched it in my hand and I was like, this is really perfect. It's proper olive toned. Because you know me, when I put a fake tan on, I'm not naturally as dark. I wish I was. <laughs> but, wish I was thinking. But when I put a fake tan on, I prefer an olive toned foundation. I absolutely love an olive toned foundation. It works better off the time I decided to put on. And I swatched the Fenty one and I was like, well, this is olive It's perfect. I'm getting it because I got a voucher. The thing I actually went in the boots for originally was an ours foundation. I was going to get the shade John Bully. I did order a Rebo offline online. But I wanted to get John Bully for like when I'm in between tans. I'm oh, crazy. I haven't even tried the um natural radiant foundation from ours. And I'm about to buy two shades of it. Like what? So they didn't have NARS in the counter, like that online. I was like, then I was running around, but took a head of the chicken to see what actually I should get. Because when I get vouchers for Christmas, I wanna, I'm want i itching to spend them. So yeah, I tried to, I was going to get a Huda Beauty foundation. Like, 
a lot of shade of the Huda Beauty foundation like latte. The shade latte is in between tan and pale, so it's when the tan's starting to fade off, or if I decided to use the medium tan, that's the shade I'd be. So they didn't have any latte in stock, and I was like, about the garden. But the girl did give me a sample, so I will be we'll be doing our first impressions or review on that foundation shade. I haven't bear in mind I haven't tried the new formula of the Pro Filter, Faux Filter, but I have two shades of the old one and I absolutely love it. It's a wedding day foundation I wore. So yeah, if you're wondering what shade I actually am with a full tan in Faux Filter Who Beauty, it's actually Baklava. So I don't know why I'm going off on a tangent about foundations but hey ho oh, this because I'm getting rid of old ones and I've used up some of them. I want to try new ones. Obviously, I'm going to see what the NARS Natural Radiant in Arubia is like. And if I do like it, I've heard mixed reviews. So I'm praying that God it actually works out for my skin. Because if it fades off really quick, I will cry because I have the foundation. Even though I've got it on offer, it's still relatively lovely on the price end. So if it doesn't work out for me, I'm going to squeal. <laughs> but that's what I get for not getting it. I did actually have a sample, but then flipping lost it. I had it in one of the bags I'd go for shopping and I lost a sample. So I was like, right, I just buy the whole thing. <laughs> and um yeah, so shame on me if it doesn't suit me, but I pray to God it does suit me and it suits my skin and all. But if it does suit my skin, I will definitely be getting strong bully. But yeah, I was a, a ramble about foundation and lip shade is the NYX. I think it's Air Natural or Sandstorm lip liner, I didn't really check. And then I've got, you can see it better in this lighting. Yes, yeah, it's overlined. It's Le Bougie by Be Perfect Liquid Lipstick. I absolutely love the Liquid Lipsticks. I have actually three in total shades of them, and they're really, really good. And on my eyes, it's the Manifest 2 palette by Be Perfect, the Dream Big one. I've got like one limb spotlight eyes. I haven't done a spotlight eye in ages, so I done one for New Year's Eve. I did film this look. I absolutely love it. I'm going to cry if I take it off at night time. Tonight, actually, because I have to take it off at night. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm going to garm because it actually took me ages to do a spotlight eye, even though it's like not much different from like a proper just cut crease or like a brighter in the inner half and then darker at the other, hand, other half crease area. But yeah, it actually is more of an effort because it's a new, new technique. I haven't done it. Well, I have done spotlight eyes before, but I haven't done one in absolute ages. So yeah, and I actually love the effect of it. So what a cry if I have to take it off. I was meant to do lashes, but I didn't have time. I was meant to certain my hair curl it, but I didn't have time. Note yourself, when you have to wash your hair, wash it the night before and do your tan the night before. A big night out or a special occasion, do not do it on the day because you run like a head of chicken. I'm saying that to my future self. Don't waste time before you have to go somewhere. Don't. <laughs> That's my new resolution. But yeah, I'll see you on New Year's Day. Especially, well, last night it was, but you know, we had a client the next day is New Year's Day, so um, yeah, I'm just making lunch, it's like after two, so Horton's having all of his food, and then I'm making some boiled eggs. I'm going to chuck the eggs, so basically, what you do is like you bake the boiled, like hard boiled eggs into a cup of butter, and it's so nice. You should try it. I'm going to have toast as well. I put that fan back on just so. I don't tell the smoke alarm because it's happened before most times. This kitchen's so small. Like, I spit a steam to set that alarm off like that. So, 
I always have door open or like that fan on definitely when we're cooking because we need to. So yeah, I'll come back once the food's all done. Okay, so that is um lunch. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to end the New Year's Eve New Year's Day vlog and we're about to say goodbye. Letting Horton go to go for PP and it's like 2 o'clock in the morning. So I'm um, hoping to do this really short vlog. Wasn't so much going on compared to like the vlogmas but hey ho, I just want to do a vlog for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And I just really had a good time these last couple of days. It's been really, really lovely. And yeah, just... Hope you all had a really good New Year and New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and I hope 2022 brings you the most joyful, blessed year ever, definitely. So, hope you enjoyed this video, hope I didn't ramble on too much, which I always say ramble on all the time. And I'll see you again for the next one. Stay gorgeous, God bless, bye.